So it's 2024 and you're wondering perhaps if you should finally pick up an Xbox Series X console. Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. I am doing this video strictly on whether or not the Xbox Series X makes a good purchase investment right now. Now, I've had an Xbox Series X since launch and so I think I'm in a particularly good spot to talk about the console itself and the positives and negatives and I'm sure a lot of you will enjoy what I have to say. One thing in mind I'll get out front is that I feel like game wise for strictly this generation it's been a little bit lackluster overall but still at the same time I feel like there are plenty of reasons to get an Xbox Series X and I'm going to have a good time putting this video together. I had a good time collecting some of the games that I was playing and things like that. So stick around should be a fun one please like the video share it out and subscribe if you enjoy my content uh, i really do appreciate it and it helps the channel tremendously so without further ado let's get started now there's a good few games that are current gen only which i think is a really good reason to pick up an xbox series x also i want to apologize a little bit for the way my voice sounds i am getting over a cold and so i sound a little bit different a little bit stuffed up so bear with me i still wanted to do the video and you know again uh please bear with me but college football now this game is one that re recently came out and it's a game that had gone away for about a decade in fact if you had ncaa college football 14 uh, i believe 2014 that game was selling for over a hundred dollars on xbox 360 at various points they finally brought the franchise back and I got to say, it plays very well. And we've seen some really big sales for this game. Uh, and, and we've also seen the fact that this game is actually selling Xbox Series X consoles. And, you know, I feel like that's because it was current gen only. So you can't get this game on PC. You can't get this game on Xbox One or PS4. You can't get this game on old gen consoles. It's only current consoles. So I think that has really helped out and is a tremendous reason to get an Xbox Series X. It looks great, plays great. And, you know, once again, we have a great college football game to kind of chill with. And it, it's just a fantastic game all around. But these are some of the best reasons to own an Xbox Series X. Certainly a game like Starfield is a pretty big reason to pick up an Xbox Series X. This game isn't available on PlayStation and you know it's a really kind of a one-of-a-kind game and it's definitely gotten better since launch. They've included a 60 frames per second option on the Xbox Series X and we're in line to get the full expansion here very soon as well. So there's plenty of reasons to really want to kind of pick up an Xbox Series X and play some of these games. Again, like I said, it may be not comparable to some of the previous generations of consoles, but there's enough here to kind of whet your appetite and, you know, get things kind of going uh, for a reason. And I know the Xbox Series X is an expensive console to get, but it is a very powerful and very well-built console with a lot of features and things like that. So, you know, like I said, Starfield is a really good game. I know it gets some hate and I believe it gets some unjustified hate, but the game is fun. It's a blast. I've got hundreds of hours into it and it's an Xbox exclusive to this point. So definitely worthwhile picking up. This is going to be a controversial one, I'm sure, but Redfall, it's a console exclusive to Xbox Series X, and the game was pretty bad at launch. Since then, it's really been kind of patched up and plays pretty good. Obviously, it's not a great game, but it is a fun game to play with friends, and even though the studio is no longer around, I feel like this is just one of those co-op games that will probably get a little bit more love as the years go by. It got a lot of hate. Initially launched at 30 frames per second. Since that point, it's been updated to 60 frames and they fixed a lot of the issues with it. Granted, it should have been that way in the first place, but I just feel like this is an underrated game and will probably be a game that gets better kind of recognition as time goes on. Uh, it's definitely one that you can pick up for super cheap and play on the Xbox Series X. It doesn't look terrible. It also doesn't look great. But still kind of a fun game now after all the patches and things like that. Uh, one that I would give, say, give a try to if you could pick it up for, you know, 10 bucks or whatever. And I've seen it going for as low as $5. So that's pretty crazy. 
I have to admit, Ghostwire Tokyo took me by surprise. It was such a fun game, and I know it's not an Xbox exclusive or anything, but it does play really good on Xbox. It's in Game Pass. You can pick it up uh, really cheap as well, digitally all the time. And, you know, it's just a game that I feel is underrated. Of course, Microsoft very foolishly closed this studio uh, that made the game, in my opinion, Tango Gameworks, who also did like the Evil Within series and things. Uh, but it's such an underrated game, such a fun game. If you've never played it, uh, you owe it to yourself to give it a try because this is one of those unique games that we don't really see that much anymore. And I think the reason that we don't see stuff like this is because if you're not making you know, a hit factory or whatever time after time, they close your studios down, and that's what happened with this. They did Ghostwire Tokyo, they did Hi-Fi Rush, and yet, you know, the studio ends up getting closed down. Thankfully, they ended up getting sold off after that, so they are still going to be around with the Hi-Fi Rush IP or whatever. But such a fun game, very underrated, uh, and I always recommend it to people and say, hey, if you haven't played it, give it a try. Very good game. If you're looking for a real graphic showpiece for the Xbox Series X, believe it or not, Robocop Rogue City might just be that. I mean, as you can see, absolutely stunning. And yes, you know, YouTube definitely compresses everything. But playing this game on my 4K TV, absolutely stunning. The effects, the water, everything. And you still get your 60 frames. I, you know, what a fantastic thing. I mean, the Xbox Series X is certainly a powerful console, a beast of a machine. And honestly... They did such a good job with this game. It's one that I always point to. If you're from the 80s or love RoboCop, you know, give this game a try. It, you know, it's well worth it. This is a game that's really current gen only, so you might as well pick it up. It plays phenomenally well. I was surprised by how good it plays, considering the developer that made this made that terrible Rambo game on the Xbox 360 and PS3 back in the day. They've come a long, long way since then, and highly recommend this game for everyone now i know this isn't a current gen only game but i feel like assassin's creed mirage might be the best assassin's creed game since some of the original ones back on the 360 they really kind of trimmed it down cut the fat and put out a really fun game that has its roots in the original games now i've been an assassin's creed fan since the first game loved the franchise but I have to admit, like Odyssey and Origins and Valhalla, they're great games, but they're way too bloated for me. Like, I don't want to spend 200 hours in a game. You know, I could play, you know, five, six, seven games in that amount of time. And I would rather do that and be able to play through that many games than, you know, play through just a single game. That, that can tend to get boring to me. But Assassin's Creed Mirage, throwback to some of the original Assassin's Creed games, such a fun game looks amazing on the xbox series x flawless 60 frames per second like i said one of the best reasons to get a series x is games perform amazingly well on it and assassin's creed mirage is right at the top of the list you know hellblade 2 is a little bit of a mixed bag as well but it's a real showpiece for what the xbox series x can do the graphics are phenomenally stunning and when you play this game it's a very visceral game it's a very like real game gritty game and you know i feel like what we've seen from so many of the xbox series x owners is that they realistically love to play these types of games that are visually stunning and things like that and i have to say even though it's not my favorite game or anything like that it's definitely one that i feel is worthwhile picking up and playing through because hey some of the best graphics that i've ever seen on a console and you know you can't really say enough good things about that yeah it's a violent bloody visceral game but if you're into that you might want to give it a try you know and this is something you can only play on series x on as far as consoles go so hey why not and you know see what you think Evil West is sort of a game that is a hidden gem in my opinion. It came out and went largely kind of unnoticed, but I noticed it and thought the game looks absolutely phenomenal. I don't know if this is like a full-on AAA. Uh, there may be some kind of budgetary type things to this game, like it's more of a, a possible budget title, but it doesn't mean 
that it's a bad game or that it's not worth picking up and playing because I feel like it's absolutely worth playing and probably one of the more fun games. Um, new ideas, like I said, these things are rare to come by these days, but here we have that. You know, we have some some new ideas. You know, the third person over the shoulder thing might not be new, but the way that they handle this kind of Wild West uh, setting for this type of thing is really phenomenal. And yes, it's over the top, and yes, it's kind of goofy and silly at times, but to me, it's just a fun game. You know, you smile while you're playing through it, and I think that's something that we don't get enough of these days. The new Forza Motorsport is only available on Xbox Series X and, you know, again, for us consoles anyway, I mean, it's on PC as well. I don't really count that. So anytime you hear me talk about exclusive, it's usually Xbox or, you know, PlayStation, whatever. Like, I don't really care if it's on a PC. I consider those two different things, not to get into a whole thing. But anyway, every console needs great racing games. And, you know, obviously the Forza Horizon series has been great on Xbox. Forza Motorsport has been updated and, and is really good too. It looks good. It plays great. It was a little bit rough around the edges at the beginning of release, but since that point in time, they have really gone out of their way to make sure that it runs and looks great. And honestly, I think they they nailed it. You know, it's just one of those things that kind of came together and, you know, really ended up kind of getting much better as time went along that's the way a lot of games are nowadays unfortunately but yeah really cool to see you know this game is running so well and looks looks fantastic and you know i think a lot of people who are into like sim racing games will love it again maybe a little bit controversial not a xbox series x current generation exclusive but halo infinite actually plays very well has a pretty decent campaign uh they've fixed it up a lot yeah, the multiplayer is really slick and fun. They did kind of drop the ball with the extra content, but the fact that they added the Forge mode and so many people contribute to that and add new maps and modes and things like that, I think it really helps the game continue to be amazing. Uh, you know, definitely not a top flight Halo game in my opinion, but still a very fun Halo game overall and something that is worthwhile picking up and playing on xbox i think one of the cool things about playing on the series x is you can play this game if you have a hdmi 2.1 tv uh at 120 frames per second that's insane for a console in my opinion so yeah really cool to see that happen and you know halo while infinite while not the best is still a pretty fun entry into the franchise of course one of the big advantages of xbox and xbox series x is that you can play you know four different generations of xbox games i mean yeah not every game is backwards compatible but like looking at the games right now in this split screen mock-up these are all original xbox games running on xbox series x hardware you know you've got sphinx grabbed by the ghoulie star wars battlefront 2 uh you know you've just got so many different options to play there were a lot of full screen games like these uh, that you can go ahead and play uh, advent horizon is the other game in this clip and you know again i just feel like that's a huge advantage going forward is just that you can play these games backwards compatible original xbox games there's there's a decent number of them uh, a lot of them have like some some free enhancements and things like that which i think a lot of people appreciate and you know i just honestly feel like They've done such a good job of of making sure that they have these games to play, uh, and 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 that they look so great. I, I just feel like that's fantastic, and you know, not enough people really talk about that, in my opinion. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, I love it. It's a great feature to have, and something that is personally one of my favorites. So I mean, you just look, and you can see how great these original Xbox games look, and 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 you know, again. That's thinking forward, you know, that's thinking ahead in my opinion. So, I mean, we looked at some of the original Xbox games. I also did a video where I cover myself playing four different generations of Xbox games on a Series X. You should check that video out. Here's some split screen of Xbox 360 games. Now, there's enhancements on a lot of Xbox 360 games, you know. Witcher 2 you see here, you see Star Wars Force Unleashed, the original Assassin's Creed looks amazing, Crackdown is 4K, Gears of War 2 right here looks 4K, Red Dead Redemption 4K, I mean, are you crazy? That is amazing to me 
that so many of these games and they're highly collectible and cheap like if you have an xbox series x you can buy cheap original xbox games cheap xbox 360 games cheap xbox one games and you can play them and you own them and you don't have to worry about them being stripped out of your library and things like that that's one of the great things about physical media and the xbox series x playing things better auto hdr you know frame rate enhancements resolution enhancements for free all amazing reasons and huge reasons to buy an xbox series x yeah you know sometimes you know a 500 hundred dollar price tag is insane but you can get them for cheap as 350 before i've seen it last christmas so you know keep that in mind going forward xbox one games are incredibly cheap and you know you can see games like this quantum break gears of war 5 battletoads you have sunset overdrive a highly underrated game uh you know you have uh devil may cry you've got star wars battlefront 2 honestly uh incredible games to say the least and these games look great sometimes they're free in hands there's there's so many great games to play honestly and i didn't have enough time it would have taken me you know maybe an hour to go over all these games individually uh, i just kind of wanted to touch base a little bit on what i thought but you know these are such amazing games they look great still they play great uh, you know and everything on the xbox one pretty much is backwards compatible on the series x many with free enhancements and things like that so absolutely i feel the series x is worthwhile to pick up and you know i feel like yeah some of the current gen stuff maybe isn't as strong as previous generations but still a worthwhile case of you know hey pick it up you're going to be able to enjoy all your you know a lot of your old games and things like that and you know it handles great there's a lot of things to the series x that is that is really cool like smart delivery it'll it'll pick the game that's for the current gen to play uh frame rate options up to 120 frames on some games it supports 4k um you know it has uh, quick resume so you know up to five games i think you can just pick right up where you left off really cool features uh it's got a solid state drive so things load really fast with it uh 100 i feel like it's worth it you know especially if you have multiple generations of collections of xbox stuff so anyway thank you all so much for watching and joining me please remember to like share and subscribe i'll catch you next time have a great one